Hey guys, this is DFD, aka Dark Frozen Deaths, back with another Kamehame Project video. This one's going to be a little bit different because this is a survey that they had, and they posted it on the official Discord. But, um, apparently Kamehame Project is a game of the week or something, I don't know. But, um, they have a survey, and I want this on camera for many different reasons. But, anybody wants to that wants to take the survey, link is going to be posted in the um, pinned comment, but the thing is, you only have a week, just about, in order to do it, so hop on it as quickly as, as you can as soon as you see this video. But, um, I'm going to give, like, general honest opinions I have about this game and everything, and I'm going to just go deeply into things, but I, I will explain things as it goes along and all that, too. So... Gameplay mechanics and design, I honestly would say it's good, but, um, I'm not really going to put an explanation down on here, but that's the thing. It's like, if I had to view the game as, like, a general viewpoint, as in, like, doesn't matter who's running it, Nutaku or, or anything, and, and assume that how everything actually functions when you get it to function, supposedly... It actually is pretty good, because, um, it does copy off of Grand Blue Fantasy, but it still adds its own little stuff to it that makes it not unique, but still stand out from it. But, um, user interface, I feel kind of neutral on that, honestly. It's decent. It's just that the interface is still, like, got a lot of stuff to go through and all that type of thing, too, and there's, there's still quite a bit of clicking, but they're using quality of light to try and cut it down a bit. So, there's that. Our sound quality, definitely good. I don't need to really say too much on that one. Because, um, the art sound and quality of the game is actually pretty solid. It's not, like, the best of the best, and there are some things where it kind of, like, lacks a little bit, like... Like, if you've seen the scenes, some of the animations are kind of off, but, yeah. Writing in the plot, not too many people follow it, but it actually isn't bad. I can't say it's very good, but it, it actually isn't bad. Now, event and content updates, I'm going to s seriously say this is poor, because they're kind of lacking on this a little bit, and this is where I want to put in the explanation. So, the thing with this is the fact that too much is getting taken away from events, and honestly, I gotta set this um, right. I gotta set this thing down because I'm like using a um. It's not like a microphone, but it's like a speaker that works as a microphone. But anyways, I have to put this here because basically, here's my explanation. Events seem like they're giving less and less lately. And then on top of that, too, here's the other part as well. Self-explanatory. Because if you looked at the rate events for some of this stuff, there's definitely way less on characters and that the ones that are free for these raid events. And it seems like the only time you want to get a new Idolin now, especially on the Japanese side, it's through an Advent event. And I hate that they took that away. I really do. They need to do better for that one. So yeah, how, how long do you plan on playing this game out there? Yeah, I definitely still plan on playing it because it's not, it's not a bad game if, like... Okay, Nutaku handles it poorly. I'm not even going to sugarcoat that, and I'm just waiting for the point where I can say that. But, playing the Japanese side of the game itself is still pretty good, though. And then, recommend it. I honestly wouldn't recommend it or tell them not to play it. It's like, I'm neutral on that. But, um, if I had to pick the strongest aspect, it's definitely the gameplay mechanics and design. The weakest aspect is definitely the event and content updates. And then, unique. Honestly, I can say the plot's unique. Because it's 
completely different when it, you're trying to have all this stuff jump in and stop a massive Ragnarok that spreads across different types of mythologies, too. Ragnarok's supposed to be something where it's like a, with um, characters like Odin and Freya and all them, but you have characters like Athena and Osiris and all that involved of stopping Ragnarok. They don't belong to the same mythology that Odin and and um, Frey, Freya, they stuff like that. Thor, too. Like, Odin and Thor definitely would be trying to stop Ragnarok, but you don't expect somebody like, say, Osiris or Cthulhu trying to stop Ragnarok. So that's, of course, kind of unique. Now, performance issues. Oh, boy. Yes. Very frequently. It happens a lot. Random lag times and lag spikes, I think that may be be due to the, how many people's on the server, but sometimes it's how they sit and pro program it. Crashes have happened a few times. I frequently see these things, and they need to fix it. And I'm playing on a gaming laptop, so I can only imagine other people, especially for mobile. Mobile is horrible. Now, if I'm going to give a satisfaction rating, I'm honestly going to give a legit seven star. They're not getting any higher than that, though, because the game, for what it's worth, is good. How Nutaku handles it is not, and that's where this is coming in. And I really have to sit this down. You're just going to have to watch and see what I'm going to say. Oh yes, I laid into them on that one. Had to. That's why I said I'd your barrel just watch me type it because honestly this is just no. And I do believe this is part of the reason why um they're getting the end of service announcement for um I think it was a uh, Joran. It was Joran or DML, one of the two, but I think it was Joran. But um yeah, if you're playing on Nutaku, you can still play Kamihime Project. <coughs> uh, excuse me, but the thing is, I don't know how long that's going to last, considering that we have Joe Ring going down on that one. So, I've already submitted all that type of stuff, you see the one here, but um, I got this video out here because I'm honestly going to tell people to just be completely honest with how you respond to this. Use that very fi final box for whatever you want to say about this stuff. If you want more if you want more events where they hand out magic jewels, hey, have at it. Maybe they might listen. I don't know. But they won't know if you don't say anything, so absolutely say something. If you think there's an issue with the game, hit them with that issue 
in this survey because absolutely don't let it slide. Don't let them get away with that stuff. They have been deteriorating on how they handle this game for the last few years, and it has caused a lot of vets to stop and go over to the Japanese side and not even touch the global one. And I've definitely been tempted to do the same thing. It's just that I pretty much just don't want to, like, start over, per se, but I already have a Japanese account in this behind compared to this one, so it's like I'd have to go back and redo all that stuff, and it's not even a matter of the fact that I have to redo it, it's just that it's still tedious to redo all of that. And that's the whole thing with that. I mean, there's some things with the Japanese account that can compare to um, my global one already, but again, it's like you're doing double work. That's it. That's the bottom line. You're still doing double work. But I mainly did that Japanese account just for for one, a comparison's sake, because they definitely are way more generous on that side, but two is that just to kind of like feel how the Japanese side plays compared to the global one, and I mean, it's still a thing with the home servers and all that type of stuff, it's no different for any other game, I've even seen that crap with Elsa where they treated the Korean server way better than the others, until maybe recently where they tried to treat them like cash cows, but that's the thing, it's like... The home server tends to get more compared to the others. That's nothing new. It still doesn't change the fact that you shouldn't, like, completely just let others deteriorate. Case in point, I'm still very, very mad about what happened to Miss Train. And what ended up happening with that one is the fact that the Chinese side ended up continuing. The global side ended up stagnating until it closed down. And I don't want to redo all my stuff on the Japanese side, even though I still could. That's... It's not a matter of could, it's a matter of why. But, it just left a bad taste in my mouth. And I loved Miss Train. It was one of my most favorite games at the time. And I feel like the same crap happened with um, AU Senki as well, which honestly was my most favorite game. And I really hate how those went down. I can feel the same thing coming down with, with Kamihime Project, if I'm going to be honest. And that's only if they let it deteriorate. Because there ain't too many more places where you can sit and play the global side no more, as far as I know. And that's the thing, it's like, Joran's shutting down, or maybe DML, but I do know that the other one probably should be gone as well. Because those two will allow you to swap your accounts, accounts between each other, and I heard one of them went down a while back, I think it was a DML side, so Joran's probably the one going. And... If they keep treating it like the way it is, then so be it. I even heard that Joe Rinsad had issues with botting and all that too, and I, and I meant to put that in that comment, but that's something that others could probably do as well. I really do hate the botters and all that, but if you want to be honest, I don't know what they could do against it either. I mean, it's against the terms of service. It seriously is. But they're also being stupidly lax against it, and it makes no sense. At least the Japanese side tried something against it. And in a few ways, you can kind of tell who's a botter or, or who isn't, because if somebody's sitting there not turning their freaking computer off and not getting off their account for insane amounts of time, that's already suspicious. It doesn't confirm they're a botter, there's some people that do it, but it's suspicious. And that's the thing, they, they overlook things that are obvious. And even with some of the issues I mentioned too that's been in there for who knows how long, why do they keep screwing up on translations? They had that there. They had it complete. There's even a few times where they had something already translated, but then a patch ruins that translation and it goes back to Japanese. And it's like, it was already correct. What happened? It's just stupid stuff like that that just keeps adding up and it's annoying. So, if you feel the same way I do, you'll definitely try to mention all that on this survey. You'll try to let them know, hey, there's problems that you need to fix. Go fix them. But... Anyways, I'm just going to end this because it's starting to get into a little bit of a rant. That's not the main point of this video. The point of this video is just that here's a survey. Honestly answer and let what you want to be known be known on that survey. But anyways, that's all for this. More of this will come soon. And also, expect a few more videos coming up pretty soon because I have 
got my hands on some interesting stuff when it came to um my account on this game as well. So I will show it off a little bit. But anyways, that's all for now, guys. More will come soon, and take care.